the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. It's so wonderful to be with you, brothers and sisters, on this feast day of St. Catherine of Siena, a very strong and powerful woman in the history of the church, a doctor of the church. And in these days where we praise our heroes, doctors and nurses, she's not a doctor in that sense, but in the sense of she was a very strong thinker and writer and influencer in the theology of the church. So we're grateful for her intercession today as we begin this Mass. Before we can enter into this Mass, brothers and sisters, first, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who, Saint, who set St. Catherine of Siena on fire with divine love in her contemplation of the Lord's passion, and her service of your church, grant through her intercession that your people, participating in the mystery of Christ, may ever exult in the revelation of his glory. He lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. There broke out a severe persecution in the church of the church in Jerusalem, and all were scattered throughout the countryside of Judea and Samaria, except the apostles. Devout men buried Stephen and made a loud lament over him. Saul, meanwhile, was trying to destroy the church, entering house after house and dragging out men and women. He handed them over for imprisonment. Now those who had been scattered went about preaching the word. Thus Philip went down to the city of Samaria and proclaimed the Christ to them. With one accord, the crowds pay attention, paid attention to what was said by Philip when they heard it and saw the signs he was doing. For unclean spirits, crying out in a loud voice, came out of many possessed people, and many paralyzed and crippled people were cured. There was great joy in that city. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Shout joyfully to God, all the earth. Sing praise to the glory of his name. Proclaim his glorious praise. Say to God, how tremendous are your deeds. Let all, all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all on earth worship and sing praise to you. Sing praise to your name. Come and see the works of God, his tremendous deeds among the children of Adam. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. He has changed the sea into dry land. Through the river they passed on foot. Therefore let us rejoice in him. He rules by his might forever. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never hunger, and whoever believes in me will never thirst. But I told you that although you have seen me, you do not believe. Everything that the Father gives me will come to me, 
and I will not reject anyone who comes to me, because I came down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. And this is the will of the one who sent me, that I should not lose anything of what he gave me, but that I shall raise it on the last day. This, for this is the will of my Father, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him may have eternal life, and I shall raise him on the last day. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. It really is remarkable that seemingly every day Scripture has something for us that fits into our times, even though this really is an unprecedented time. But we see in the first reading, and personally, I love the Acts of the Apostles. Don't you love these stories of the early church and what was going on? And here we have a persecution breaking out by none other than Saul, later Paul who was going through and uh, murdering Christians of every sort. And so what happened? In Jerusalem, the Christians cleared out. They left. And they went to other places, all except the apostles. Everyone else left. Why? Because there was a danger there. So they went to other places. And isn't that what's going on here? We've had to clear out of important places, places where we gather, because there's a danger. But does that mean that the faith has stopped? Does that mean that Jesus Christ is no longer present? Absolutely not, because we see that what happened when Philip preached, when he went to other areas, yeah, he couldn't stay where he wanted in Jerusalem. But because there was danger there, he went elsewhere. And what happened there? The faith spread. And there was joy in that place. Despite the massacre that was going on in Jerusalem, Samaria, and Judea, there was, there was joy because Philip brought to them Jesus Christ. Because of the great massacre, because of the persecution, the faith spread. And what can happen with us, brothers and sisters, in this day? In these days where we think we're being denied so many different things, we are. But does that mean, especially when it comes to our faith, that the faith has died? Absolutely not. These days, whether we know it or not, God is working through it, just like he did in these days, to spread the faith. Where is he doing it? In our homes? Where we're with our family? And maybe our families have fallen away from the faith, and maybe we've prayed for them for years. Maybe this is a point of evangelization for them. They see our faith at work. Maybe they're able to access the faith in different ways or to see the church in action in different ways than they did it before. And I'm not saying it's better now. But what I am saying is God surely is working through what is going on today for the greater glory of his name. He has to be. He has done it all throughout history. He did it through persecution. He will do it through plague. He will do it through a pandemic. You better believe it, because the gospel assures us. Jesus says, everyone who comes to me will never hunger, and whoever believes in me will never thirst. And he says, he will bring everyone who comes to him with him. Surely he does not hold against us the fact that we are in danger today. Surely he is working through everything going on so that the faith will spread. It will spread through our homes. It will spread everywhere we go. Why? Because the Lord will see to it. It has happened in history. It will happen again. Knowing that God the Father wills the best for all people, we now come to him with our needs and those of our neighbors. For Catholic missionaries, may God give them the strength and courage they need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For judges and all who work in law enforcement, may God, the perfect judge, bless them with the gifts of wisdom, justice, and mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
in this time of COVID-19 for all who bear the burdens of loneliness, sickness, poverty, or the lack of basic necessities. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, today we remember Connie Petcab Pet Ravage, for whom this Mass is being offered. May Jesus accept them to himself and bring them everlasting life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the intercessions and petitions offered on our Facebook live stream this morning. May those prayers be offered at this altar and sent to the Heavenly Father, and may he hear them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of compassion, you will eternal life for all of your children here on earth. Listen to our prayers and grant what is best through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord. God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the sacrifice, the saving sacrifice we offer in commemoration of St. Catherine, so that, instructed by her teaching, we may give ever more fervent thanks to you, the one true God, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence, by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. Giving you thanks, he said the blessing broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In 
a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with, your, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Catherine of Siena, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O oh Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Ronald, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. Your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as, as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May the heavenly table at which we have been fed, O Lord, confer eternal life upon us, and even in this world, as even in this world it nourished the life of Saint Catherine. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. It's always wonderful to be with you, especially at the Mass. Tonight, however, we're offering, beginning to offer something new here at St. Joseph. There will be a uh, hymn sing-along, which I'm sure we'll all enjoy beginning at 7 o'clock. You can see the website for details, but we look forward to seeing you on our Facebook page for that. And of course, back here tomorrow at for Mass, and beginning Friday, we will begin to say the Rosary after Mass for the month of May. So we look forward to joining you then. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael, the archangel, defend, defend us in battle. Be our protection, protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Amen.